Hi everyone, Dr. Sunil Dand, internal medicine physician. Welcome to another video. I've talked a lot recently about the awful situation with regards to heart disease statistics and heart attacks. But this recent story really caught my attention as well, and it regards the rollout of defibrillators across schools for children. Take a look at this story. So this was published in the last few days in the BBC, England School Defibrillator Rollout After Dad's Campaign. In 2011, 12-year-old Oliver died when his heart stopped during a school swimming lesson. Absolutely tragic. He had an undiagnosed heart condition. His father started a foundation which campaigned for all schools in England to have defibrillators. And now we have a rollout across schools across England. According to the Department for Education, 20,000 20, defibrillators will be delivered to almost 18,000 state-funded schools by the end of the academic year. So once more, that's a very, very sad story. And clearly this campaign was years in the making. And now we are going to have the rollout of defibrillators across schools in England. That's a staggering number of defibrillators, 20,000 defibrillators. And I'm sure many other countries may follow suit. But here are my thoughts. Firstly, it's never a bad thing to prepare for medical emergencies. Being prepared for any medical emergency is always a good thing. When I was growing up, it would have been absolutely unthinkable. I'm thinking when I was in primary school, when I was in grammar school, the thought never even entered our collective minds that we would even request defibrillators. I hadn't really heard of young children dying suddenly. Of course, it's something that has happened ever since humans have existed, but it was really, really rare. It wouldn't have even entered our minds to, to think about it. And I'm sure many people watching right now feel the same way. When you were growing up, is this something that would have even been on your mind to be trained in CPR and using defibrillators in children? That's something to think about. Because this is my point. I've made lots of videos on the alarming statistics with heart disease, heart attacks over the last few years, and all of the tragic stories we're seeing. And I've been trying very hard to get more data and statistics on whether the rates of sudden cardiac death and heart attacks, especially in young people, now young people would be anyone under the age of 50, but I'm thinking for this particular story, anyone under the age of 18, what are the statistics and have we seen increases in young people, young children keeling over from heart attacks? Because that would be very alarming indeed. And I'm trying to get that information. And when I get it, I will share it with you here. As for the use of defibrillators, and this is my final point, I really hope that everybody involved, whether it is the school teachers, other staff members, even other children in school, receive adequate training on how to use defibrillators because, of course, they can be life-saving. And I made this point a few videos ago. Everybody out there can at least get basic CPR training. You can even watch a video online, but there are plenty of courses available so you know what to do to administer high-quality CPR. If anyone suddenly keels over in front of you, you know what to do. It could really save the life of a family member, a friend, or even a stranger. Think about that. Okay, everyone, let me know your thoughts on this story down below. Thanks for listening. Do check out my new online course, The Dr. Dand Method. That link is down below. Beat the establishment that makes you sick and do your best to stay away from mainstream medicine. Also follow me on my uncensored platform, Locals.com. That link is also down below. If you like this video, hit the like button and also hit the bell button so you get notified with more videos in the future. Thanks again and we will chat again very soon.